Deputy Tobin, you have two minutes. Now, your, um, your statement. I'm sure it was made, but I didn't hear the statement. Well, it so, was made. Um, sure you... With regards to the provision of, of ultrasound, obviously, again, this is another issue that's really, really difficult to understand. The issue of abortion was dressed up by the Minister as a choice which was logical uh, and beneficial uh, uh, that should be introduced into uh, Irish law. And all this issue with regards to ultrasound desires is that a choice is given to a mother uh, that she would be able to look at the ultrasound uh, if she so wished, and a choice that can actually be declined if the mother so wishes. So there's no effort here in any way to, to force anybody to see any information that they don't want to see. But we do know that you know, informed uh, choices are the best choices, uh, and I would have met a large number of individuals who have suffered from abortion regret. And it's one of those dirty little secrets that the society doesn't want to talk about, but there is a significant proportion of individuals uh, in society that do suffer from abortion regret. And abortion regret is a very serious issue. And the people who suffer from it often, for their whole lives, suffer great pain and anguish as a result of it. And the, the, the provision of information allows for people to be able to make uh, informed decisions. And I've spoken to people who said they did not realise that the heart was beating at such a young age. They did not realise that you know, the, the unborn child was so well formed at 12 weeks. They didn't realise exactly the decision that they were making. And surely just asking a person, do you wish to, to have this information, would be a logical thing to do. You know, and, and ultrasound is not a threatening device in any way. It's a, it's a medical device. It's a device designed to help uh, with healthcare, and you know, I, I just can't understand why that choice is not being uh, afforded uh, to people. Uh, there's also great unease with regards to doctors on this, because doctors are being asked you know, to provide abortions in many cases without the technology to be able to, to, let, them, to let them understand exactly the health situation of the mother and the unborn child. And there is significant worry and fear amongst doctors that if they don't have an ultrasound uh, to be able to make the necessary decisions that one they won't be Thank doing the best be. for the their mother's concerns or the unborn children concerned but two that they will actually be putting themselves in a very exposed situation uh, because they will be making decisions without the best clinical diagnostic tools that are necessary and it just is beyond comprehension and i, I had this Thank debate you, with you with you minister previously and we you admitted that in many cases and if not most cases that these decisions are made, that an ultrasound will probably be necessary. You, you, you spoke that you hadn't clear information Time yet up, from Deputy, your advisors that you, an, an ultrasound will be necessary. But I'm asking that for the, the protection of the mothers, the unborn child, and for the doctors, that we would consider uh, 